Well, if it isn't McKnight. How's McKnight doing? So this is what's weird, Jordy, is that it doesn't show like it shows on the edges here, but it doesn't show Maybe it's because I sold the field back. Let me go check this. Probably, yeah. <coughs> That'd be my guess. Oh, yeah, I, I sold it back so that an AI is doing whatever they want with it. That makes sense then. Okay, I'm not so, I'm not as concerned now. Gone for the next six months. Oh, that's gonna be rough. <clears throat> Whoops. Deployed to Kuwait? Call that a vacation? I'm not. Well, I guess there's, there's worse places to get deployed to, I guess, would be the. on that front. Yeah, six ain't bad. Yeah, it's true, too. Yeah. Six-month deployment. <laughs> Air Force. Well, thank you for yours and hers service. Yep, Freight Booth got updated. Uh, just a minor update for textures, crop textures, and environmental lighting.
And between Sh Shorty and myself, uh, we've now converted Michigan Farms map from 19 to 22 in about a month and a half time frame it took us to get it there. So there is a second map that's gone up to Giants for testing now. This one. Hard to keep it straight when you unlock the wheels and all that. doing a slight crab walk to it, but I guess not. See what I mean about steering? It's a lot more finicky when you have it in that mode than the straight mode. I got her dialed in on 180 right now. Might need to lift your elevator up a little bit on these hills so they're not dragging me. There you go. You know what that texture reminds me of coming off the elevator? Poop. Crunch balls. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I could see that. That's exactly what it looks like. Giant Nestle Crunch Balls. I was gonna ask you too. The wooden sign deal is that customizable, or is that just something you guys customized yourselves? That is McKnight. McKnight made us uh, the entrance signs. Yeah, they look good. To remember how to use this thing. It's been a minute. That's a wide turn.
Hopefully it doesn't dump on the ground. Need some work on the animation, gent. Needs a flap. Is that a giant one? This oxbow cart? No. The oxbow cart was. Oh, it's been around since like 17. We don't use it a whole lot, but for this application, it works pretty good for. Tired and I'm gonna fall asleep here. Uh, that's just because you're going beat. Evening, road train. Hey, Phil. Yeah, Shorty, I might have to tame down some of these hills in here just to be safe. They're pretty aggressive. Alright. Yeah, I don't think I disagree with that. I mean, they don't need a lot. Not a lot, just moved out a little bit. 
Does the disc work out here? Don't know. Haven't tried the disc. Shop. You can bring it out here and test it if you want. Okay, take it slow, rough road ahead. <laughs> Need road, to get some slow signs. The road will give you the suspension to work out. GPS when I need it. Hey, Rabbit. Good to see you too.
Shorty's operating the hammer road train. Huh? Huh? What? What? Road train asked what you were operating. I said you're operating the hammer. Oh, I was operating the inside of my eyelids. Uh, no, Rabbit. This is not the trailer on Mod Hub. This is my own. My own version of it that uh, unfortunately got um, given to another modder after I split ties with a another modder. So, um, Jim ends up here relocating my tractor. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> It's about the nicest way I could put it, um, on this trailer. It's a friendly little nudge. It does have some very similar characteristics, Rebbit. Um, to the one that's on Mod Hub, because it is basically the same mod. Uh, it's just that we've done a little bit more to our version of it uh, to make it better. Uh, but I do have high hopes that the 22 version that's going to be worked on is going to be a replacement for it from the screenshots that I've seen um, but time will tell I guess we'll have to wait and see how what it's like when it comes out and I'll make the decision then whether we're gonna keep the one keep our pack or use that pack Yeah, this, this trailer set here that we have has been around since uh, 15. Um, and a few of the guys here, my buddies that I play around here with, they know uh, they went through and redid some of the boxes and some of the frames for us. So um, to get it towards that right now and for 19 and then 22 is just I just directly converted it over and upgraded it to. 22 standard. That'll be another full truck. Get the six axle? Yep. That's my favorite out of the bunch. It's maneuverable, carries a decent load. This guy. Go grab that disc. Okay. See if it works.
82 has a lot of modded trailers. Yeah, 82 does do a lot of modded trailers and trucks. They're not half bad. Licensing problems, road train, that's why. Giants doesn't have the East license, so you have to call it a lizard if you want a Giants mod hub. Well, Lizard is the easy, easy uh, licensing thing because Lizard is Giants, so you don't have to really think about too much. Just call it a Lizard, and it's good to go. You don't have to kind of make up some dream brand name that's non-existent. You just use Lizard as an scapegoat. Easy thing to do. Yeah, big. Some of these fields, big equipment aren't going to work on, unless I rework some of the hills and valleys. I mean, it's 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 a half of this, half of that kind of thing. That's how it was in 19 too. You couldn't use big equipment on some of the fields uh, because the hills and stuff were were big enough that it would cause skip on most most of the equipment. And 15 was the worst one of them all, which is where we're at that field. So a I can either fix it so big equipment works, which means lessening the hills. Taking a little bit of the slope out of them, filling in the valley a little bit so it's not so steep, more contoured, or I can just leave it and you'll have to use smaller equipment and I'll hear backlash of people pissed off because it skips. So, personally, I, my version, which would be PC version, I'm not probably not going to mess with it. Oof, there's a big stutter. Um, but for the the council versions or the the, the mass public version, I'll probably have to uh, do something because I'll never hear the end of it. Hey, Swiss. Y'all are doing great stuff for the farming community. Well, thanks, Rabbit.
Well, I miss those little spots down there in the holler there. How's Swiss doing this evening? Or morning for you, I guess. Oh, that's, that's for sure. Mods make this game uh, longevity last. I mean, it's if there wasn't mod support, this game wouldn't last very long. Six to eight months, probably. Would be my maximum guess. And then people get bored of it. You're okay? Okay. Really easy to clean up, though. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not bad. You just have to work it from a couple different directions, which... Somewhat is realistic, because in when there's washouts or gullies like that in the real world well most farmers won't plow them anyways because of making it worse they leave it you know packed so that way when the water runs in the thaw and spring and whatever it doesn't wash it out more because once you loosen that soil up you know, there goes your soil because it's going to wash that away so there's that factor and the other factor is that sometimes you when there's actually a, 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 a cutout like that, you will actually disc down towards it to fill it in. So you won't yeah. hit it the same direction. You'll hit it crossways to get it. And it's like that in real life, too. I mean, on some hills in real life, you have to hit them at different angles, or you either aren't as deep, or, you know, you're shallow. Um, or you just kind of skim across the top on one side and you're digging really deep on the other side. It's just how it works. But that right there is the worst part. The right if it, if it did that there then you shouldn't have any trouble with any rest of it. Yeah. That's the that's the worst part in this whole field is that where those two gullies come in together like that. That's probably for the whole map. <laughs> yeah, yeah this is been a lot more blur than today, Brad. What's that, Shorty? You said your stream's having a lot more blur moments. Yeah. Bit rate must be low. Twenty six hundred. Mine's showing about twenty four.
Yeah, it's it's the same over here, Rabbit. Uh, you know, 10, uh, probably 15, 15, 20 years ago, everything got plowed, moldboard plowed, um, or deep ripped. And then we're kind of in that transition phase, like the last five years ago was a lot of no-till. You know, really stringent on, you know, nobody wants to till anything, just let it go. Till it maybe once every third year or something just to break up the compaction. And now it's it seems to be slowly progressing back to ripping everything again. But not many plows. Not, the, most of it's just rippers. I haven't seen anybody moldboard plow around here probably in, I would say, at least 10 years. It's just not a common thing around here anymore. They just got... The rippers are just more efficient, more timely to use, so they just rip everything. Yeah. That can be set to go just as deep, too, so... Yeah. That's a mobile plow. Or you have something like this, where you have a wide space disc. And that goes in real deep, I know, because... Uh, a couple of the YouTube channels... They show those, and they're only like 30 foot discs, and a 500 horsepower can barely pull them because they sink in so far. Yeah. They've got like 30 inch discs on them, and they're putting 15 inches in the ground. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we, that's, that's usually when farmers get out to tillage tools. We have, uh, what's called mare's tail. They call it, yeah, it, it's, I don't know why they call it mare's tail, but it is a very, very invasive and nasty weed and is Roundup resistant. Um... I, well, I shouldn't say it's Roundup. It, it's Roundup resistant if you abide by the laws and spray what you're allowed to spray on your fields. Because um, you can kill with Roundup, but you basically have to soak it. So natural, your normal spraying technique that farmers use don't usually burn it back enough to kill it. It'll burn it, but it won't kill it off. And each plant has like 3 million seeds when it seed, goes to seed. So, it is a real big problem around here last few years. It, it, it never used to be, Roundup used to kill it. But within the last three or four years, it became Roundup resistant. Mare's tail, like the horse, mares. That's what, it, that's what the, there's, that's the, the farmer word for it. I don't know what the real technical name for the weed is, but... Farmers call it a mare's tail because it looks like it grows, it's really like thin diameter, has a pretty hefty stalk to it, and it grows three, four foot tall if you let it grow all the way up. And like I said, when it goes to seed, like it has, cat tail, pretty much. It, it goes, it has about a million seeds in each plant at full maturity. So when you're disking, or plowing or whatever uh, you have a very high success rate of transferring field to field those seeds and that's what's kind of happened it, it migrated in a couple fields and you, you plow them and not think too much about it and the next year those are now spreaded over to other fields and they're a bugger to get rid of are a little tough to go over. That's because you got to be leveled first.
Water hemp is another bad one. There's only one thing that will kill water hemp, but it kills everything. So. Because everything, but you can't plant it for two years yet. Not water hammer, water hemp. Road train, water hemp. Uh, I don't know. Don't know where they came from. I'm not a weedologist. <laughs> I don't know weed allergy. How they these weeds pop up. Wouldn't allow fear of black grass seeds, yeah. Yeah, I can imagine the grass seed could spread pretty easily from field to field. On contractors help. I didn't take enough headlands off down here so we would turn normally.
<laughs> Swiss. There you go. That's what it is. It's a nasty weed. The Latin name? Yeah, I figured it had to be something goofy. I have no idea what that stuff is, Road Train. Never heard of that. Oh my feels get so much weed you can't even see the dirt. <laughs> Farmer's doing a seven year rotation with canola crops because of the weed. Yikes.
Just keep an eye on the money up there. When that turns the 1400 up there by the clock, yeah, I'll, you'll see the money jump. And that's it paying me for the last hour of hauling beats in. So in four minutes, because I'm at half speed, you'll see my money jump. Don't know if I'll get another load in yet, but in that time frame, but we'll see. Because of the stem beetle? Oh, okay. That's similar to a soybean aphid. This just falls out of my pockets. <laughs> nice Swiss, nice. <laughs> That's a dad joke if I ever heard one. <laughs> you seen the ones that have been floating across Facebook? Got the two guys sitting on the dock, just sitting there drinking oh, coffee and yes. telling jokes. I just seen one of their better ones here a second ago. Guy says I never did like elevator music. Oh yeah, I seen that one. It's bad on so many levels. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't kidding there, rabbit. Fertilizer cost is just insane. At least here in the States, fertilizer's gone up like almost tenfold. Diesel. Diesel's, Diesel is diesel's is up there too, yeah. Yeah, just getting to be outrageous. Go up. I don't know, I wasn't watching it. I saw the wage payment come out. It won't give you a green thing underneath of it. It just makes the value go up. I think it did because we're at 12, 1.2 something. Now we're at almost 1.4. Eight hundred a ton. Oof.
that's probably euros too, so that's more like... Ten fifty a ton for us, probably. Pound sterling, Phil says. How many different variations of money do you guys got over there? Because there's like, or maybe it's just how it's pronounced. I mean, there's like quid, there's pounds, there's euros. I mean, is it all the same thing? Just different ways of saying it? Or is actually each thing different? Euros are in Europe, in Switzerland, Swiss franc, franc and Euros. Pound is UK, Euro is EU. That is so confusing. So Greater Europe, France, yep. Spain, Italy. All the yas. <laughs> Solar farms planting wildflowers in good soil and instead of crops. Yeah, we have a couple solar farms. Oh, they're 100 acre solar farms, I'd be guessing, that got put up. Farmer sold his land off for it. He makes more money on the solar, solar power renting on the land than he did any crops, so. Kind of a no-brainer. Electric to big, big up there. Uh, the solar, well, solar and wind are pretty big up here. Well, I meant like vehicles and stuff like that. Oh, electric vehicles? No. I didn't think so. No, not here. And we ha up here is most of the American cars too, like your. Your uh, Chevy, Ford, Dodge. Dodge, yeah. Yep. yep. No Hondas, Hyundais. None of the... When you get south, southern part of Michigan, like in the Detroit area, you get a lot of the more foreign vehicles. But up here by us, where I'm at, it's the, the four major brands, U.S. brands. Right. Although I have been seeing a lot of Teslas now lately, too, on the roads. But... Tesla's are an electric I car. think I think I think it's mostly probably like the, the three or four of the same people they just drive around a lot yeah wearing them batteries out that's okay I've heard that the ocean likes them I mean you gotta charge the the the, the eels gotta get charged somehow so feed the ocean batteries There, they'll just dump them in the lakes. <laughs> yeah. Cost money to transport them across the ground again. 
Yeah, better off just throwing your dead batteries in the ocean. The big old blue. It's gotta eat too, you know. Cows made more methane in COVID time, they're saying? Oh boy. Now if you got a permit, Shorty, none. There is a couple farmers around here that uh, when I was working at that uh, Massey dealership, they were combining hemp, which is basically marijuana, without the THC or something like that, I think it's called. Um, but they're they're combining it with uh, gleaner combines. And there's there's quite a bit of money in it, if you have a big enough operation and whatnot for it. They're basically selling the, the seed to the mill to make oil out of hemp oil. Any idea how to fix the can't connect to server issue? Um... Not really. Call the internet service provider. Or, I don't know if you get that message if you don't have the mods that they're using too, maybe. Um, and it could be just something that Giants is on, Giants is server on, too. There's a lot of variables that would could come into play with that message. Depends on what server you're trying to look get on to, too. Yeah. Could be any number of things. Well, I haven't experienced the piler bug yet, where I can't put any more of each in the piler. Nope, so. Must be processing them right down. Why can't I buy the land around the houses? You can buy the land around the house. You just can't buy the house, the land that the house sits on. If that's what you mean, Fletcher, the actual land that the house sits on. That you can't buy, but you should be able to buy the field that goes around it, and that that should be a that should be working. You just can't own the house plot. It's it's my way of my way of giving back to the house owners and not allowing eminent domain from the farmer to take his take your the land up because that adds a whole nother mess into the world of modding a map because then. If I allow the house to be land to be bought, the next thing that comes up is why can't you delete the house, the trees, the buildings that you know are on that land? And then to do that, you have to make each one of them technically a placeable, so the game will allow you to delete it. So every house would need to be a placeable. That or leads to bigger file sizes and. It leads to, yeah, it leads to a lot more work on my end, and I'm lazy. So, that's why you can't do it. Plus, I also kind of want more of the realism, where the house plots are there, and you have to farm around them. And plus, typically, usually farmers can't say, 
go over to their neighbor by their house and evict them. I mean, that's, there's rules and laws in place that make sure that don't happen. The government can do it. They can eminent domain you, but they have to pay you for it. But, but that's why. Four maps of Frankmuth with all the trees, with house and with what? And what are you talking about, road train? Is that English? Yeah, but Phil, those those houses would actually increase slots if you were able to delete them. That's the that's the weird thing about it. I've heard that argument too on slot count would be reduced. It wouldn't be. It'd actually be increased because now you're making all those houses separate entities instead of just an object on the map. It'll have its own XML so you can delete it. So I don't know where the they 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 think that that's gonna save on slots. It's gonna increase the slots if anything. But yes, then you can delete them all, which then you could save slots, but you're initially going to create a lot of slots just to make it so you can remove those slots. It's kind of counter counterintuitive. He <laughs> said that many times in Facebook groups, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I understand from that aspect why they'd want it, because then you could farm through it and all that stuff, but the, the logistic to do it is just, it's not easy. I mean, it took giants, what, three or four updates to get it so you could just get rid of the farm buildings on their Elm Creek map? Which there, it makes sense, because... The farms, they're useless. You can't do anything with them. And it's just wasted space. Well, I'm not full yet. So it makes sense on those style maps where there's not a lot of... There's a lot of that wasted space, I guess you could call it, where it's like a whole complete block that you can't even use and there's buildings there. But predominantly on the maps that I've built, like this one and Frank Muth, the, the house plots are very minimal use of land. It's mostly the farm fields. I mean, it's like 80% farm farmland on the maps that I make. Uh, there is a... Uh, let's see... What was it? Flatlands, I think it was called? Well, I know what I dislike about that red shop on Frank Booth is the back wall. Are you talking? Let's see if we got a tractor nearby. Nope, I just run over there real quick. Um, speedy time. Doink. We'll go about eight there. Back. Whee! <laughs> this wall? What's wrong with that wall? next to it. Oh, 
Oh, this wall? I'm talking that half wall? Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, originally, I believe in the original build of this barn way back in like 17, this was like a paint booth. And that's like the screen, you could, or the drape you could pull across. That's kind of what how the design was, but yeah, it doesn't really, it's not really practical. Um... I would agree. I agree, Fletcher. Uh, that wall is kind of pointless. Um, and it's in the way. I'll see if I can do anything about it. <clears throat> I would agree. I'll get him empty and let you have it from there. Call it an early night. Okay. I'm pretty satisfied with beets, anyways. I might move to potatoes now. Make sure that's working like it should. Try and knock out some more stuff here while I'm waiting for. Hard worker. Excuse me. So the map did go into testing uh, this morning and Giants, this map, Michigan, um, and, it, and it does show testing was completed, but I have not gotten an email yet, because you're missing, well you were missing, you tipped too far, you dump beats on the ground. Oops. They're nice and close. And now I'm stuck. <laughs> You're gonna need to push me from the back end to get me off the hump. I'm not totally empty yet. That's the only problem with that trailer is that you have to be dead on accurate, otherwise you'll miss and then dump them on the ground. Because it so works like a... It, it needs that flap. It works like a shovel. No, it doesn't matter if it's a flap or not. That flap is just a visual. It needs the uh, the node drug out a little bit more for the uh, discharge node. Ready, Sergeant P13. Thank you for the. Wow, that is what? dead weight. You might have to push me from the front, which is totally backwards, but. The, the trailer's hung up on it. You're going to be way better off pushing me from the front. But Sergeant P, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having you're a like good go evening. Right no, there's a weight. Oh, there isn't a weight on. Oh, yeah. So we're good. No weight on the front. You should be fine. truck is not going to have a radiator left. Well, that's... This is a tractor. <laughs> Don't try the tractor on you, get hung up. Those piles don't are not forgiving. The dirt piles are more forgiving. They'll kind of spread out when you drive over them, but the beet piles are not forgiving. I can get a fix for that real quick. Yeah, they're like concrete. Yeah, I agree. We'll go try the spuds out here and make sure that's working. Because that should be the harvested texture right there. I should be able to harvest them. I'm 
probably gonna use the Spudnik equipment because it's a little easier to use. And it's faster. Which is uh, mods that was converted from 19 that was uh, Justin Gilbertson who created them for 19. All I did was convert them. Spudnik. S P U D N I K. That is the very common manufacturer here in Michigan for potatoes. Because believe it or not, we do grow potatoes up here in Michigan. In the thumb area. Munger. That's they actually, one thing that is not grown in this area. Yeah, they have a Munger Potato Fest every year. It's a couple big farms up there that have potatoes. They grow them. And that's the equipment they use is Budnick. They got a, I think it was an either an 8 or a 12 roll planter. And they usually use the uh, merger and harvester mod, the, like the ones that I have here. They use those, that same equipment to harvest them. Congrats, Shorty. Well, yes, I think Sputnik was a name of a Russian uh, satellite or that something like that. Sput Sput oh, Nick. Sputnik. Okay, not Spud. Not close enough. S P U T, not S P U D. <laughs> Yeah. I can see all the tracks in the cornfield now. I don't see any of the uh, chaff or anything. Yeah. Although. That's what I was talking about. The chaff was missing in the texture. But then I sold the fuel bag, so that, that makes sense because. AI's been doing whatever they probably mulched it or something. Where's that stubborn little pile at? Alright, this guy can stop doing what he's doing because we're officially done with this whole system. Leaders. All cleaned up. Let's see, we want the left discharge, right? Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Either or is fine. I do need my tractor with the row crop. Oh yeah, we gotta play my logo on it, even though it's a sugar beet. <laughs> my 
my sugar beet tractor, but it works for potatoes too. I think I got a monkey with the shadow box yet. Shadow only renders on a few components instead of the whole thing. Smiley, going pretty good. How about yourself? Yes, the sheds are a different orientation on the map than what it was in 19. And it's only the red sheds too. Because, well, I like the color red for sheds more than in the other colors, so that's why they're all red. Access to this land. Okay, maybe I don't have access to this land. Did I not buy it yet? I didn't buy it. I guess it helps if you buy the land. Let's see here. We need to dump. That side. I think I've filled the BJ. <laughs> Alright. 
I will see you guys tomorrow sometime. Okay. That would be a tree. Keep forgetting I gotta up the speeds on these things a little bit. So far it's handling the terrain, that's good. So I really like these hills right here, they're kinda unique. This field never used to have never had any real trouble. In nineteen. <coughs> that beat field did. And there's one other field. I think it was this field here. A couple of those valleys to get a little sketchy. Thanks, Phil. So far, I'm satisfied. It is letting me harvest them like I'm supposed to. And this is the harvested. This is your harvested texture too on Franken with now for potatoes. And my beet duels line up pretty decently too. The rows, so that's good. They're a little bit off, but not bad. On the same front, that I'm straddling three rows, which should really be two or four, it should be an even number.
Before you ask, I'm still alive. Okay. That's good. I think. Uh, yeah, hired worker can work it. You just have to turn them around. Because it won't leave four rows. But yeah, he can he can work it. No problem, but when he turns around, you gotta help him because he won't leave four rows when he turns. You gotta leave four rows for the harvester. So you can pick up what you've merged plus the four rows that are not harvested yet. That but the harvest will, harvester will pick all that up. This is just a merger tool to merge basically 16 rows into a, a windrow. And then you got four in the center, so you can essentially in one pass, you can take out 20 rows with a harvester and load a truck up. Yeah, this is just a merger, then you come by with the actual harvester and load trucks. And that works with hired worker too. It will run down the row of the four rows and pick up the um ones that are on the ground. So you can hire the the harvester out and then drive a truck alongside it. Which I'll show you here in a second once I get another row done. It's probably going to take two rows to fill up a truck. Then we'll go find somewhere fun to dump it. Unless you want to load the train and manually and dump it. Or sell it that way. Nope. No topper is needed with this system. This is how we do it in America. Or at least in Michigan. The, the the dead vines and stuff will roll out the back side of this merger and the potatoes will fall through the grates or they well they're actually called potato chains but and then it puts them out to the side the real life one you can switch between right and left for the output Oh, was it, Phil? I mean, what's interesting is that essentially I am doing what that pack does, but I'm not doing it without any without special scripts. I'm doing this only with XML, where that pack actually had scripts to do what I'm doing. So essentially, you don't actually need Lua scripts to make it function like this. This is all just XML scripting to make it do this.
most of it was already here. It just needed a little bit more finishing, I guess, or some updating to get it to 22, how it reads stuff. Just some things had to be converted over in the XML to get everything showing up right. But it's still not quite 100%, but it's close. The, uh, the textures are a little goofy, as you can see. This track is wider. Yeah, the 25 will work, I believe. That's the widest stance. Yeah. J-Man's uh, thing must be working. Yes, road train. This is the Spudnik pack. Here's a planter too. Made by Justin Gilbertson. Converted by me. Released to no one. Well, except for the. But me. Discord group of testers and buddies I play with. But he did a phenomenal job with a lot of these models. Some of the stuff was a little, like the harvester, beat harvester was not scaled correctly. I had to fix that. And a few other minor things, but definitely was a, uh, a uh, decent decent mod setup. One of the better models I've seen for beet harvesters and potato equipment. I 
that's right, I sold this land. See one problem that might happen with this gap here, because I took those out, so it's probably going to stop and want to turn around. That would be my guess. It's going to stop. That's how that works. Picks up what hasn't been harvested yet and picks up what is rolled up or merged. Yeah, it's about the best as I can get it for that texture dumping off the elevator. I up the uh, emitter um, emitter rate for that. Uh, I'll be in a other I have to go down the other end and come back. Because I'll be in the potato rows with the truck. We'll just do one full truck and call it good. <laughs> Forgot him. It's <laughs> just talking about potato chips. Forgot how all this works. So 
So the first step is to merge the spuds together. Where you can get eight rows and eight rows. So 16 rows merged into four unharvested rows. And then this harvester will harvest the four rows that are not been merged and pick up what was merged. So essentially that harvester is picking up and dumping into the trailer 20 rows worth of spuds. That's how it works. Alrighty, Phil. Have a good one.
Yep, I brought the water tower over and changed the logo on it. Alright, so what else do we need to look at? Oh, any ideas, Shorty? I'm pretty confident that the cell points all work. What you looking at? Just double checking these buildings. Well, don't forget. They mess with the building shaders. So. That's why I'm looking at things. No errors when placing them, so we're good there. And I've kind of been messing around too. I haven't seen anything major. If there, at all, really. There are no lights in this building, that's by default. Right. Might not hurt to put one in it. Yeah, we could. But that's for down the road. Yeah. Second to last shed, never seen that before? Yeah, that's the. Yeah. Yeah. That's been the uh, addition to Frank Muth now and this map. This barn and this barn were added in the update. Until the sun's going down. Oh, yeah, this barn didn't have lights in it either, did it? 
Might have to fix that. This barn should have lights in it. Should at least have a light out front. That's well lit. That should be fine. Let's slow time down a little bit here. This one's well lit. That one has no lights. This one's lights. Oop, get back here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could use that this barn here for uh, storing hay bales. Or the implements, tractors, whatever you want to do, but... Yeah. It's got collisions on these walls, so you, you could stack bales against these walls and it won't go through the window. There's a collision. All the way up on these poles. So as long as you stack them on these poles, you'll be good. If you stack it here, you'll be able to... No, there's no collision there. But on the... The upright poles are collisions on them. Which, when you start stacking, you should be able to center your hay bales, round bales, pretty close to on these on center. Here, water right here. And I hear a frog somewhere in here, too. So we might have to look at the sound file. That's being called under the map and review that. No, no, machines got frogs. Just shouldn't be frogs in town like that. That's kind of weird. Not intended to be that way. Maybe somebody let one go. Possibly. Down here and check out this lighting real quick again. Make sure all that's good without the, with the update. I've already done that. They work. Yep. A little dark on this side, but... Just gotta rotate them lights a little. There's a sound file right here, too. I can hear something. Yeah, we gotta look at the sound file. I3D. Move some sounds around so it's matched better.
Oh, man. Might be an early night for me tonight. I was kind of hoping they would have sent the email by now so I could at least look at stuff, but... Still no email from them, which they're probably all early morning now over there. They're not at work yet. I probably won't get an email till about 6.30 my time in the morning. Oh, there's grass here in the middle of the road. Look at that. That's probably one. That one side's good. Hey, I never noticed that. Yep. Gotta fix that. There's a fish. It's a fish, 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 fish. Well, I hate to call it short, but I pretty much tested what I think uh, until we hear back from Giants what we need to work on yet, but I'm pretty satisfied with what we got so far. There are unique road names. Main Street, Shorty Road. So, each road has a, a unique name. Down here we have Michigan going that way. Laura Street Road going that way. And then, of course, that's Main Street. Where all the town is and whatnot. And we got Taylor Road, Michigan Road. I'm not going to show you all the signs, but they all are. Oh, fish. Fish, 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 fish. But they all got unique names, all the road signs do. Well, yep, I am, uh, I'm going to head out. Thank you guys for watching. Um, keep an eye on the Facebook page as soon as I find out uh, from Giants what's going on. I'll definitely make a post. Um, so everybody knows where we're at. We're all on the same page. Uh, hopefully it's not too horrible, but uh, we never know because it is a new-ish map mod download or whatever you want to be submitted. I mean, most of the stuff in here come from Frank Muth, so it's already technically quote-unquote pre-approved. So it's just whether or not the basics of the map, the the train, the 
the deliveries, the border is what Giants is looking for. I'm hoping with a lot of 100% like hope that it doesn't go to council testing because that means it passed PC and that's that good. Because there's some issues that we, not really issues, but just minor snafus with some of the field stuff that we need to look at. And get in there and fix that all up. But I, I highly, highly doubt it passed PC the first time through. That's kind of unheard of, so. But that would kind of suck. <laughs> if it passed PC because then it's going to get released without me having made the few corrections like this grass here in the middle of the street which Giants actually might take a picture of that and send it to me and tell me that I need to fix that because they are pretty particular on that kind of stuff so We will see. Everybody have a great night. We will be back uh, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. And uh, hopefully by that time we'll have some more information and what's going on, where the map's at, where we stand. Um, I would expect at this point the map should be out before Christmas. I would say we potentially could be out before the... Um, the Platinum DLC drops, but it's it's probably going to be right around that time frame, which may be a bad time to release a new map. I don't know. Um, but I guess we'll find out. We'll see. I mean, it's a map. It's going to be either played or it's not going to be played, but I have a feeling that when that DLC comes out, people are really going to be playing that map pretty heavily and some of these other maps that come out or mod stuff that come out around that time frame might just kind of get missed so we'll see we'll figure it out say it's a feature <laughs> road train <laughs> yeah the DLC is going to be uh, from what I see is going to be heavily in the forestry it's going to be for those who really like forestry and cutting trees and uh, of that nature that's that's gonna be a DLC for them if you're more like me on the farming side where I just like to farm crops it's not that big of a poll for me I would like to hopefully be able to get like the 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 boat factory thing and the and the roller coaster building I'm hoping Giants will open that up so we can put those on our mod maps but it's hard to say. We might not be able to. Um, we just have to wait and see when, when it comes out. What they have opened up to us to you know, get and utilize. Or if it's all under a uh, under lock and key where you can't access it. Well, it's funny that they would drop a forestry pack when they have a tree limitation. Right. I, yeah, I don't know. It's weird, because you look at that map, and it's like, you got to be over your tree limit. Because you look at this map, there's pretty sparse trees laying around. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they do it. they gotta be, they got to be close to it. But then again, you go to Elm Creek, and you can place a gazillion trees before it tells you that message. So, I'm not sure how they do it. But we are 69 trees under the max tree limit on maps on this map uh, so what's that mean it means basically you can plant or place 69 trees before it gives you that message of too many trees on the map so uh, Frank Muth I think is only 49 or 50 so we're about the same this one's got a, a few extra but all right Enough of me jibber jabbering. You guys have a great night, and we will see you next week. Thank you for the follow, man club.
welcome to the channel. I hope we see you next time. Have a good night, everyone.